Well, today you have a chance to ask the experts about joint replacement. Jessica joins us live with more from Studio B. Hi, Jess. Hi, Mary. Yeah, tell Tim we had to get all of our questions in. Joining me now, Dr. Gold, tell me a little bit about arthritis. That's a big concern for joint replacement. Arthritis is so common nowadays. It affects over 50 million Americans so that we see people of all walks of life that have pain in their joints. Um, we especially deal with people with pain in their hips and their knees. Okay, we were talking a little bit about replacements. What do people need to know if they're considering having one before talking to their doctor? Well, we certainly try to do other things before we do joint replacements. Um, for people who have significant arthritis, um, that really interferes with their everyday activities, their inability to walk, to enjoy things. Um, then they start to become a candidate for a joint replacement. And there's been a tremendous amount of um, new techniques and new uh, in innovations for joint replacements um, in both the knee and the hip. Um, we do a lot of computerized technology today, which really tends to speed the recovery um, and improve the, the joint function, which is what we're trying to do. And it's really amazing, the recovery time. Um, you know, when I first started, the recovery time used to be three, four months, and now it's down to three to four weeks. Right. Um, we definitely accelerate the rehabilitation programs. Um, people aren't in the hospital for more than a day, two, sometimes three with a joint replacement. Uh, we try to get them up walking as quickly as possible right. um, and try to get them back to their everyday activities as quickly as possible. Dr. Gold, thank you so much for being here. You get out of the hospital, you make your tea time. Mary, back to you. <laughs> That's thank what it's you. all about. Four, thanks, Jess. For more information on joint pain and replacement, you. you can ask the experts. Just call 410-466-1313.